Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lorena Aguirre and I post here on YouTube every Monday and Saturday. Alright you guys, to, to get to get into today's video, we are going to be reviewing Archon Mount as you guys seen in the title already. Um, so I have these two, I have this one and then the one over here. Um, but yeah, so they are both really great mounts. I want to state that from the very, very beginning. If you guys do need a discount code, I'm going to go ahead and put one down below. It is not mine. It is a girl um, on Instagram that I have found and her name is Jessica Nails. Super amazing. She has classes in everything. So make sure to check her out. Super, super cool stuff. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, you guys, first off, I do want to mention that I have been updating my room so you guys could see I have this little shelf. I've been putting little decorations and stuff. And then my little plants, that is um, my little family. I did my curtains, they look super cute. And then I moved this picture over here. I'm gonna be doing like a haul thing. Um, oh, and I got this little sign. It's like an interchangeable sign. Like you could like flip them to the back and they say like, hello spring, hello fall. and what's not super cute um all right you guys so let's go ahead and get into today's video all right you guys so first off we have both of these mounts super great um price point this one is a little bit more this one's 125 i believe right now um and then this one's 165 i believe um the difference are that these one this one only comes with two attachments this one comes with three so you're able to put your camera on this part and then screw all of these on there so this one's for the phone this one's for your tablet and it has interchangeable parts so if your tablet is even bigger you could put bigger legs and this stretches so you have a little bit of leeway right there um and the brand on this one, it's like kind of on these little knobs and then this one it has it just like kind of on these little plate things. All right, you guys. And then, so I do really, really enjoy these mounts. This one I really like. You could just use your phone on it, but you can get away with using your DSLR. If your DSLR is any bigger than mine, which mine is the Sony um, A6400, you guys, that might, that is like borderline too big. Um, so definitely recommend not using a big old jumbo camera it this mount is not gonna hold just because it ends up eventually no matter how much I found myself tightening these knobs it still ended up going down 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 so um, with that being said even if I wanted this bar to be right here and I tighten it tighten it tighten it it would still fall um, so definitely recommend using it for cell phones and whatnot so if you film a lot on your cell phone I feel like this is great and you're able to save yourself a little bit of money and you guys could put this all over the place if you guys wanted it swings any way that you want so super cool and then this is like this moves around too so um but once you tighten this down all the way this is a little bit harder to move so it moves from the base up here like at the top but not anything lower and another thing, this one, it goes up and down. And if you guys are wanting to see how big it goes, this is how long it goes. So this is super cool, especially if you guys are sitting down talking to the camera. I feel like this is great. Um, and I got the one where you guys are able to move it all over your desk. But with that being said, a lot of times when this is on the desk, if the camera's too heavy and you have it like this instead of like the diamond pointing towards the camera then after you guys will notice that it ends up like kind of like tipping over a lot if you have a heavy camera on it if it's your cell phone you won't have to worry about that but just with the camera you guys for sure that's something that you guys are gonna want to know about and um another thing don't get me wrong you guys i love this mount it's lasted me for two years i was able to put my dslr on it and my phone on it so it did serve its use but of course now since i'm able to afford a bigger lamp or a bigger uh, mount that is why i went ahead and did so so um basically right here this was kind of like my pet peeve especially since i'm using dslr and i'm using for my phone um interchanging this to me at least it was a pain in the butt some people might not think that it's that big of a deal but you have to unloosen this 
and then sometimes like that will fall out if you end up loosening it too too much and you kind of have to like play with it so you don't have your pieces all falling out and then you have to hold it together and then pop this back in all right you guys sorry i needed to text a client back um i love that you're able to angle it and move it any which way that you'd like especially if you're filming and you're trying to get all the way in there um and this i feel like you're able to kind of like have it a little bit more out of your way so i feel like that is a plus and um, just using it for dslr um yeah if you have a big bulky camera i wouldn't recommend it especially if it's super heavy um but yeah i I used it for a really long time. Something that I would do so my camera wouldn't fall over is actually put something heavy on the side. I have a salt rock that I would put on the side while I had my DSLR on it. And it, it worked perfectly fine um, for the meantime, you know. But once I had gotten this one right here, you guys, this one's super, super cool. Um, I love this one. But so basically how this one works, this one clamps onto your desk. It does come with attachment. So if your desk is super thick, you're actually able to like um, extend that little bar thing and then it'll help uh, make it longer and whatnot. Um, and then you kind of just bolt it down and screw it back on. And stability, this is really good. Like, I mean, my camera is on the desk right now. So that's kind of why you might see it shaking a little bit. But both of them are pretty sturdy. Like... Um, but this one is just since it's not bolted down, you guys do have the option to actually get that one bolted down as well. But, but with this one, it comes with three different interchangeable heads. It comes with the phone clamp and it's like a spring one. So you guys could put your phone on it and then you guys could put your tablet on there too. And this one is a spring loaded one too. And it comes with longer arms too. So if you guys have like a gigantic, um, tablet or whatever i feel like this would also be really really great because um yeah you guys are able to put on there put a movie on if you guys have your clients if you don't film while you're always working um this will be great just to like kind of like throw on here and put to the side like that while you're working in your clients just in front of you i'll show you basically what each function is this one right here it's to lift up the arm and just tighten super easy to maneuver and then sometimes usually if i'm filming and i feel like this is in the way of me and my client talking i kind of just move it to the side and continue working i never really lock this into place um but if you guys want to have it high up which i'll go ahead and show you guys how high it goes that is basically how high it goes um and so it's like well over my head like i'll go ahead and put my arm on it and my arms like almost straight you know but um yeah this is really cool but if you it locks it into place so you are able to move it a little bit it's not like super super stuck you know so it's you're still able to move it and it keeps it exactly at the height that you need it which i think is awesome but i leave it open um you definitely don't have to it's just personal preference this i love this just because you're able to like put this down and say if you don't want the camera mount up or whatever you guys could just keep it like that and keep it down and it still looks very simple on the desk i'm gonna go ahead and back up my camera so you guys could see so that is what it looks like from far away so like if my clients were to come in and see it it's not that big of a deal okay so something else that i do want to show you guys is that this extends as well and this is about how much it extends which i love this because um let's see which arm is longer actually this one might be a little bit hard to show but yeah this one definitely has that one beat because if this one was straight this would probably go out to a little bit like right here on this one um but yeah this one is nice because it does go longer so if you guys have a really long desk like me i do have the ikea alex drawers and i have the long long tabletop so my desk is way bigger than what I need and with that being said sometimes like the mount I feel like it doesn't reach because it's so wide so I need it to be in the center of the subject that I'm filming and it needs to be extended as well because sometimes my clients like especially if I'm working on one of their hands and whatnot like they're kind of like way over here so that I feel like is perfect having it be able to stretch out this far um and 
I like to have mine about right there. And then a good thing too is you could actually rotate this. So instead of rotating this little bit, you could just do this. And I feel like that is honestly like great. Especially because with this one, I would literally have to unloosen it and turn it. Um, and especially from going back and forth filming, this one's so much easier. Okay, you guys, and then this little ball bit, it's super cool because it does have the little um, inserts right here where you could either have it up, down, or like, um, you can't turn it to the side right here, but I'll show you guys how because before when I had seen this online, I was real hesitant to get it because I didn't want to not be able to do the functions that I need because I need my stand off to the side and I need it to be like doing, like filming what is in front of me. With that being said, like I was worried about it not being being able to do what I wanted it to do. So then after I ended up buying it, so then I could review it for you guys just because it was something that I wanted to know as well. So basically when the camera, as you guys know, you guys had to screw into the bottom of a DSLR. And with that being said, you guys could screw it and have it angled down like this. Sure, on the box, this is how it is angled where it seems like it's directly in front of her and just a little bit angled. Like, to me, it kind of came off like as if like it couldn't do other angles. So, and then even on these pictures on the back, it just had it like that as well. And that's how they have it on the website. And even on the video that they do show the mount in, they don't show basically everything that it could do, you guys, because this one is like, you guys could pretty much do anything with it. Um, so yeah, with that being said, and then I'm going to show you guys how to screw on the attachment. And so yeah, if you, so say you took off your DSLR and you're like, you know what, I want to switch to my phone. Then you guys could go like this, switch this up so then your camera could be angled down. And look, look how easy that was. Like, perfect. So <laughs> yeah, you guys, with that being said, like even if I wanted to get a low angle, I'm going to show you guys basically like the low angle that I like to get. And I like to loosen this arm up here. So this is for like um, Instagram nail tutorials I like to do on my phone. So I like to put it like this. And then after I like to work in front of basically whatever I'm doing, especially on a client. And then once I'm done with that clip, I actually move it away. And then after I continue working. And then after I'll move it back and you know, so I love this one. I love that it stays in place. I don't feel like it's super in my way. Um, so definitely if you guys could if you guys have the extra money I definitely recommend sending or spending it on this one but if you guys do want to save your money um, this one is also a very 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 good mount there's just some differences in it this one it just comes with more it to me it does more and it's effortless this it's kind of a little tricky um, like kind of getting it to do what you want a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I want to straighten it out so I'm going to show you guys how I would straighten it out and just go to all the knobs but if you guys are putting a DSLR in there make sure these are tight I've had mine for like over two years so um, having it for over two years it's held up really well but you guys can't see in the video but these had kind of ovaled out they were perfectly round when i had gotten them but from tightening down so so much basically like for having it for so long these rounded out and because you, i'm clamping down as much as i could um so yeah but i know archon's customer service is really really good so i did want to reach out to them and try to get these little bits replaced the things in the center because everything else on the mount is perfectly fine there's no scratches no dents like everything's perfect oh and another thing that i did like about this one was because since it has the base it has like a velvet thing on um the bottom of it so or like it's like a foam pad thing so when you guys are moving it across your desk you don't have to worry about scratching your desk or anything like that and with this one it does also have a little foam thing at the bottom underneath here underneath the plate so it doesn't scratch your desk as well so you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um and if you guys want another video on basically how my film setup is make sure to comment down below and i'll go ahead and get that to you guys but please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe especially if you guys found this video helpful um so yeah all right you guys i will see you in the next video bye